Hi everybody. So we have a nice treat for you today. Over here we have my Bole F1. My Bole F1, I guess you would call it. And uh, while trying to get in there and lubricate the bed and um, the tilting mechanism and so on, I, I opened up the bottom, of course, and to see what's going on inside, what's inside. So I opened it up. There's the bottom cover. There's the foot that um, allows you to turn the lathe around and work on pivots and stuff. Anyway, that goes up the bottom. I took it up, and this is one substantial piece of iron casting. Anyway, while rummaging around, I found this little piece of paper, which was not in the plastic pouch originally. It was just kind of stuck in there. On this little piece of paper, just innocently tucked away in the corner. So I decided to first to see what's in it. So I open it up. And what do we have here? Shot plan to F1 with Pabst motor for 220 volt. Uh, Welcome to my murdering of German, but apologies to all German speakers about that. But anyway, so what I saw here is that the motor has uh, is wired for U, W, and V, which means it's a three-phase motor wired through some trickery that I don't understand, and I don't really have the time to uh, really look into. But it's it can be wired up to run on on single phase. And I thought, hey, maybe this, it can be run, it can be wired up to run on, on three-phase. I also found the date on this document, January 24th, 1962. So this lathe is uh, just about uh, 37, 47, 57 years old. Oh, oh, getting up there, coming up to third age. Anyway. So what I did is I wired up. There's the three wires coming from the from the motor. There's the motor. The wiring goes up in here. It comes out through this little coil over here. I unplugged everything, don't worry. It comes out through there and it normally goes into this connection block. It goes with the reversing switch, on off switch, and to these two capacitors that we can see on the wiring over here. So anyway, I unplugged the, I, I disconnected the three wires, the U, V, and W. And I ran them up to my to my other my toss lathe over here, which has an inverter. With a, I'm not going to show you too much because it's not very pretty to look at with the wearing. But anyway, so I turned it on. I wired it up. Ignition and start. And look at that. Can you even hear that? Ooh. Oh baby, now uh, if I'm not mistaken, the way I have my other lathe set up, uh, the minimum speed right now should be about 300 RPMs, I'm guessing. I can't remember off the top of my head, but three, three to not more than 500 RPMs. So this motor is turning about 500 RPMs now, so I'm gonna crank it up. I've done this before, so I know it's fine. No, 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 wanna, no, no smoke is gonna come out, but I'm gonna let you listen to it. So this is something like 300 RPMs. Pressing it up. This is probably 1500. And this is the nominal maximum RPM of uh, 2700. And uh, running it on three phase, besides getting the um, stepless variable speed in here, it actually runs a lot smoother than on single phase. You wouldn't think it makes much of a difference on a 50 watt motor, but it does. And I'm going to show you here this nifty little plate that reminds you to put oil in it. Um, I don't know if you can read it. Very well, I'll try to get in. But it actually does specify current for both 220 volt and 380 volt at 50 hertz or 60 hertz, which is pretty neat. It's going to hit at 2700 RPMs at 50 hertz, I'm assuming. And I'm assuming 3000 at 60. So yeah, if you have a Bolli F1, 
with a Taft motor and, and I'm guessing a lot of the laden lathes will be the same way. But if you have something like that, you can run this bad boy on a VFD and have yourself a three phase ultra smooth, low and grunt, just what uh, a proper lathe would need. So our next step is to get a second VFD and wear up this bad boy. Stay tuned.